Lindsay vanished from home for eight long months, leaving no trace behind. Yet, Huck's extraordinary abilities led him to a dilapidated, rough neighborhood in Camden, New Jersey. Despite a warning from a young boy about the danger, Huck was undeterred. He knew this place posed no threat to him. His mission was clear. He wouldn't live without Lindsay and was determined to return her to her parents. In a derelict building, Huck encountered a group of homeless individuals in a drug-induced haze. Amidst them, he discovered a frail and bewildered Lindsay lost in the fog of drugs, unaware of her surroundings. Just as Hawk began to aid her, a menacing ruffian and his cronies appeared, asserting he was Lindsay's boyfriend. Hawk, unswayed by the ruffian's claim, asserted that a proper boyfriend would care for Lindsay's well-being. Without hesitation, he insisted that she needed urgent medical attention. The confrontation escalated, with tension hanging in the air, as Hawk stood resolute in his determination to protect Lindsay and bring her back to safety. Disregarding Huck's warning, the ruffian and his minions made the grave mistake of underestimating him. In a swift of display of power, Huck struck them with a single blow, sending them flying out of the window. Remarkably, he ensured they landed safely despite their aggression. With the threat neutralized, Huck took a weakened Lindsay back to the embrace of her relieved and loving parents. The ordeal had been perilous, but Huck's determination and prowess prevailed, reuniting Lindsay with a family who are filled with gratitude for his heroic actions. With unwavering determination, Hawk successfully located the lost dog trapped in a cave near the stream. Drawing on his resourcefulness and skills, he swiftly rescued the canine. In a whirlwind of heroic actions, Hawk accomplished all the good deeds in his diary with a remarkable short period. His kindness and selflessness knew no bounds, leaving a trail of grateful hearts in his wake. As the set on a day filled with extraordinary deeds, Huck's sense of fulfillment and satisfaction soared, knowing that his efforts had positively impacted the lives of those around him. As Huck's heroic deeds dominated the headlines, he became the town's beloved sensation, basking in admiration and attention. Everyone wanted to be close to him, seeking his friendship and approval. Little did Huck know, some were merely taking advantage of his innocent nature, manipulating him for their gains. While Hawk wasn't gullible, his genuine kindness sometimes made him vulnerable, unwittingly becoming a doormat for those who sought to exploit his good nature. This concern weighed heavily on Mrs. Taylor and the villagers, who knew Hawk's intentions were pure and selfless. He performed acts of goodness not to gain popularity or financial rewards, but simply out of the goodness of his heart. Amid the limelight and newfound popularity, the villagers hoped that Hawk's sincerity and altruism would be preserved, shielded from those who might exploit his benevolence for selfish ends. Indeed, the irony of the situation was glaringly comical. While the press and mainstream media were eager to capitalize on Hawk's heroic feats for their selfish gains, they seemed oblivious to the essential aspect of his life. Not a single reporter bothered to delve into his origin or upbringing, nor did they make any effort to interview those close to him. Amidst the frenzy of sensation, the curious and heartwarming story of Huck's life remained untold and overlooked. The media's focus on superficial fame and sensationalism overshadowed the deep, more meaningful aspect of Huck's journey and the genuine reasons behind his selfless acts. It was almost as if Huck's background and the people who shaped him were invisible to the media's spotlight, leaving a humorous yet poignant commentary on the priorities of the sensationalized world. The true essence of Huck's character, his genuine intentions and the influence that made him the compassionate hero he has remained hidden in the shadows of fame-hungry reporting. The politicians, led by the opportunistic governor of the state, were among the worst offenders. They saw Hawk as a valuable pawn in their political game. They shamelessly organized a grand party in his honor, all in disguise hoping to leverage his popularity for their electoral gains. Hawk had unwittingly become a mere political prop to further their agendas, much to the dismay of of those who truly cared for him. Not just the politicians, but even the influential figures at the Pentagon couldn't resist taking an interest in Hawk. They commended him for his commendable deeds, recognizing the impact he had made with his selflessness and bravery. As the web of fame 
politics and admiration entangled Hawk, it became increasingly difficult to differentiate between genuine support and opportunistic exploitation. Amidst it all, Hawk's pure intentions and modest nature remained untouched, shining like a beacon of goodness in a world where even the noblest act could be twisted for personal gain. Despite feeling overwhelmed by the situation, Hawk understood that he couldn't afford to be naive. Reluctantly, he went along with the charade orchestrated by the politicians and their big party. He knew he had to navigate this complicated landscape carefully. The media and politicians swarmed around him at the event, treating him more like an exhibit than a person. They pushed him to take pictures and showcase his strength, reducing him to a spectacle like an animal in a zoo. It was disheartening for Hawk to witness how this dehumanizing display had overshadowed his genuine acts of kindness. Behind its forced smiles and accolades, Hawk yearned for a return to simplicity, where his deeds were guided solely by his innate desire to help others. Yet, he also recognized the importance of treading cautiously, aware that his every move could be manipulated for political gains in such a spotlight. Hawk's mind was solely focused on his mother. He had no interest in the glitz and glamour of the media frenzy. Before all the intention, he had been content with a simple life. This situation felt unfamiliar and not like himself. Feeling exhausted by it all, he decided to leave and return home. But before departing, he fed the hungry cats behind his room. Then he generously handed his hotel room key to two homeless men, encouraging them to order anything they desired, from food to drinks. He believed they shouldn't be left out in the cold and deserved to be treated kindly. Hawk left a message for the governor, expressing his regrets for missing their breakfast appointment the next morning. With his act of kindness done, he bid farewell to the chaotic scene and embarked on a journey back to the simplicity he cherished. Leaving behind the bewildering world of fame and politics, Hawk's heart was set on one thing, returning home, where he felt truly at ease. He leaped and darted through the motorway, running away from the rich, pretentious politicians who saw him as a tool to enhance their image and gain support for their ambitions. In their eyes, Hawk's powers were merely a means to an end, disregarding the person he indeed was and the genuine intention behind his good deeds. The insincerity and the manipulation left him disheartened, longing for simplicity and authenticity he cherished in his humble life. In a paradoxical way, Hawk found himself somewhat appreciating the attention he received. As an individual, he had never experienced such widespread recognition before. In the past, despite his imposing stature, he would have quickly gone unnoticed. It was a stark reminder of the harsh reality of society, the importance of conforming to certain expectations and projected norms to be acknowledged and accepted. The attention he now garnered was a testament to society's tendency to favor certain appearances or traits over others, making it challenging for those who didn't fit the mold to receive the same level of recognition. Despite the flattery of the spotlight, Hawk remained aware of the superficiality of it all, understanding that genuine acceptance and appreciation should extend beyond mere appearances. Suddenly, as if appearing from thin air, the bearded guy who had claimed to be Hawk's long-lost twin brother from North Carolina materialized on top of a moving train. Overwhelmed with emotion, he embraced Hawk tightly, affirming that he was, in fact, his long lost twin. In a stunning revelation, he hinted that he might have information about their mother's whereabouts.